I started climbing at the age of four after seeing someone climbing on the TV and it was a French free climber so she was climbing without ropes on these massive huge cliffs and I just fell in love with it. I was like, that's what I want to do. That four-year-old girl joined a children's climbing club, but within weeks she'd left the other kids behind. And soon, she says, climbing became her life. Born in Runcorn, she now lives and trains here in Yorkshire. I quickly fell in love with Sheffield and I'm definitely feel like this is home now. Uh, I can't ever imagine leaving really. I have everything so accessible for training purposes, but also the Peak District, like just there on your doorstep, having that space is pretty magical, so close to home. Controversially, all climbers at the Olympics will have to compete at three disciplines. Lead climbing, where you clip a lead to the wall for safety and climb as high as you can. Speed climbing, where you go as fast as possible. And Shauna's specialism, bouldering, that's climbing at difficult angles without ropes. Including climbing in the Olympics has divided opinion, even among climbers themselves. Some say it'll make it over-regulated, when it should be all about freedom and adventure. Shauna wasn't certain at first, but has now decided she will go for a place in Tokyo. It's definitely presented some challenges and it's not what a lot of climbers expected to see. But in my opinion, the Olympics is such an amazing stage to showcase our sport. And the idea that I'll, I could be competing at the Olympics is, still seems a bit crazy. But for me, if I'm going to train, I'm going to train to be the best that I can possibly be at the Olympics. If that means winning a gold medal, then that would be incredible. Shauna has won the Bouldering World Cup twice, but in 2020 there'll be a chance to reach the top on the biggest stage in sport. Dave Edwards, BBC Look North, Sheffield.